This is Romans chapter 10, verse 21. But to Israel, he saith, all the day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gang same people. All oh, praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rukkah Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the true worldwide in sincerity, and peace and blessings to the whole few leg of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Now let's read this one more time. Romans 10, verse 21. But to Israel, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He saith, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gang same people. Okay? And how does the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, stretch forth his hands? By sending forth his prophets, his servants, to preach the word unto you Israelites okay unto the nation of Israel you so called Negroes Latinos Hispanics and Native Americans okay but all Israel is not of Israel right as the scriptures say so you have Israelites that's that that fear you that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and believe on his gospel and walking his ways to the best of their ability right they on a righteous path okay those Israelites want to be righteous and then you got the wicked Israelites okay the two thirds who uh, don't believe on his gospel don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh alright and don't hearken unto his words right they on a a, a wicked path all right, an unrighteous path. Okay, they disobedient, man. All right, they unbelieving. Okay, so what you think is going to happen to those who don't hearken unto the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah? Those who don't believe on His word, what do you think is going to happen to them? Well, I could tell you what's going to happen, as the scriptures say. They're going to be destroyed. All right. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to kill them. He's going to put them to death. A terrible, miserable death they will receive. Okay. For forsaking the living water, which is the truth. All right. That's the, the, the this living water is the truth, man. All right. And if you forsaken this living water, then you gonna you gonna you gonna die of thirst, man. All right, this truth quen quenches your spiritual thirst. All right, so you need you Israelites need to hearken unto this word. This this truth is very important, man. It's the most important thing on this planet Earth. Seriously. Okay. So the Heavenly Father sent forth his prophets to preach his word unto you, for you to hearken unto him, to turn back unto him. And if you've forsaken the words that's coming from the prophets, well, in in in, in, in you know in in reality, you know, the Heavenly Father is, is is really, you know, speaking through the prophets. Okay? He speaks through his servants, all right. So by you not hearkening unto the Heavenly Father, not hearkening unto the servants, you not hearkening unto the Heavenly Father. All right? And you're going to be destroyed for that, man. Let's go here to uh, Jeremiah chapter um, 17. Let me jump down. Verse 13, and it reads... Um, yeah, verse 13, and it reads, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee should be ashamed. Right. All you Israelites that forsake Yahweh Bashem Yahweh okay, you're going to be ashamed in, in these times to come. All right.
the times we in now. All right. Cause you gonna hey, you Israelites that uh <laughs> you know that uh don't get delivered when Yahweh shall return. And you see the other Israelites, they let get beamed up, and you left here, you're gonna be ashamed, man. All right. You're gonna be ashamed because you're gonna know that what we what the uh, prophets were saying was the truth. <laughs> and you're gonna be ashamed that you didn't hearken to Yahweh Basham Abishai words. Okay. And they that depart from me shall be written in the earth. You're gonna be put to death, man. All right. Because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of of the living waters okay the heavenly father the heavenly father is the fountain of the living waters okay he's the fountain and the living waters is this truth okay which is really yahweh shah yahweh shah is the word all right so by you forsaking this word you forsaking his only begotten son and you're gonna be put to death for that man <laughs> okay the heavenly father is the fountain. Yahweh Shah is the living water. All right. Which is the truth. Okay. So this is uh, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. And it reads that this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You wicked Israelites, man. That love this wicked ass world that's ran by Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Job 9 verse 24. Who's running this planet Earth right now? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom, all right? The Edomites, all right? And you love it. You love it here, all right? And, you know, you're so in love with this wicked place that you can't hear or don't want to hear the uh, words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You don't want to keep his ways. You don't want to do nothing that Heavenly Father say to do, but you claim that you love him. All right, you're a liar, man. If you love the heavenly Father, you'll keep His ways, man. As the scriptures say, if, if, if you love me, keep my commandments. And we know we can't keep all the commandments, but we keep what we can keep to the best of our ability. Okay. But by you not not trying to keep His ways, you know, and don't want to keep His ways, you rather do the things that's of the world then you don't love the heavenly father man okay so you're a rebellious people man all right lying children i love god i love the lord you're a lying you lying ass man you don't love him man verse 10 we say to the seers see not into the prophets prof uh prophesy not unto us right things speak unto us smooth things prophesy the seed yeah, that's what you tell the seers. The seers are, are the prophets. Because the prophets see the future, man. Okay. We are we are a man of vision. As Apostle uh Gabar say from GMS. All right. We are a man of vision. We can see what's coming. This is why we we able to, to preach the word and tell you about it, man. Before it happened. But you don't you don't you don't want us to prophesy these things. Cause we, we prophesy destruction to this this wicked ass world that you love. All right, you want us to speak them, 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 pork chop past the words, man. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be all right. God loves everybody. God loves the world. You know, <laughs> God don't love this place. He's going to destroy this place. When they say God loves the world, John 3, verse 16, it's talking about the word of Israel, man. Okay. He loves his people. All right. You don't love this place, man. This place is being ran by the wicked. Okay. The, the scripture tell you in, in John, love not the world, neither the things are in the world. So come on now. How can he say he love the world, but he telling you not to love the world? Like you people don't understand the scriptures, man. So yeah, man, you know, these wicked ass Israelites, man, they forsake, forsake the, uh, the living water. They don't want to uh, hear the word. They don't want us to preach these, this, they don't slack you. They don't want us to preach the truth unto them. Okay. So what you think is going to happen? They're going to be destroyed. But we're going to continue to preach this word, whether they hear it or whether they forbear, man. Okay.
This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. And you see at the top right here, the prophet's call. Okay. And it reads, And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him spake unto me. Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Not everybody. Israel, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? To a rebellious nation. You don't say nations, but as a nation is speaking to the children of Israel that have rebelled against me. This is why we in the position we in now, because we rebelled against the Heavenly Father, man. That's why we went back into captivity. All right. And we ain't into uh we in captivity to this day they and their fathers have transgressed it against me even unto this very day even unto the, this very day okay our people still rebelling against the heavenly father by not hearkening unto him by forsaking his living water verse four for they are imprudent children and stiff-hearted hard-headed i do send thee unto them and thou shalt say unto them thus said the lord god so we telling you what the heavenly father want us to tell you <laughs> okay it's not our own words verse five and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear for they are rebellious for they are a rebellious house yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them okay so hey man you know when all hell break loose, the, the 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 prophecies we were speaking about, the things we was telling you that was going to uh, happen, when it started to happen, you're going to know a prophet been among you, man. Okay, then you're going to start to look for the prophets, and you're not going to be able to find the prophets, man. Because it's going to be a famine of the word. You're not going to be able to get this truth. Amos chapter 8, verse 11 and 12. Okay? So you're going to be asked out, man. You know? Because you, you choose to uh, forsake this living water. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times, right? So the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, which is the truth, which is the living waters, okay, should be the stability of that time. What time? Jacob's trouble, okay? The evil days, great tribulation, right? Having this living water, this truth is going to keep you stable in those times. In Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, where everybody else is going to be bugged out, freaked out, and afraid and don't know what to do. Okay? And won't have no guidance on what to do. But those who have this living water, those who have not forsaken the living water, okay? They will be stable in those times. Okay. They will be guided by the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. They will be protected. Okay. And soon will receive salvation. All right. And salvation is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Why? Because the beginning of wisdom and knowledge is uh the fear of the Lord is the beginning the beginning of wisdom and knowledge, man. All right. Fear in the Heavenly Father is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. All right. And if you've forsaken the living water, you don't believe on his truth, you're not hearkening to the words of the Heavenly Father, then you don't fear him. Because if you fear the Heavenly Father, you will hearken unto these words. <laughs> okay, so simple as that, man. You know. Um uh, those who forsaken this living water will be put to death. Those who don't forsaken this li living water will be delivered. And Yahweh will and we are part of that elect number so we can be delivered when Yahweh shall return. All right, so I'm going to end it off with that. Um, Forsaken not this living water will be the title of this uh, video. See y'all again soon, Yahweh will and Shalom.